Hello everyone, I am back. Um, today's a little different. Uh, I woke up and this was on my tarot desk. So my husband had said, that is something, um, I got you. I said, oh, he goes, yeah, you've been wanting it, I guess. He goes, um, I hope I got you the right, <clears throat> he goes, I hope it's the right thing. So let's go ahead and see, because he doesn't know much about, about tarot and, and all that stuff. He, you know, he's not into anything like that. So let's go ahead and see what he has done. The box is really cute. Hip, hip, hooray on it. Okay, so he obviously has ordered this from somewhere. It says, thank you for supporting my small business. Oh, and we've got the box. It's just so cute. Oh, goodness. There's lots of stuff in here. Okay. Oh, wow. <clears throat> My voice still isn't perfect. So there's a little baggie here with charms and a heart-shaped crystal. It says, thank you. You are the heart of my business. A little card says. Oh, this is really exciting. Wow, look how pretty. A little heart there, a pencil. Oh my goodness. How pretty is this? Oh, more little hearts. How beautiful is that? I'm gonna fold all this up. <clears throat> and move that aside. Wow, it's just so pretty. Oh my goodness. So, so pretty. I'm not sure how to even open it, if it unties or ties. <clears throat> not sure. Again, today my voice is uh, doing that again. I have a lot of testing coming up, things going on, so. Please forgive me for my boys. Okay, yeah, that's glued on there, so there's no other way than to... Yep, and I just popped the little flower off, which is okay. It can be set on one of my shelves somewhere because this... Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're going to go this route. That was just so pretty. I'm going to find a way to keep that little ribbon because uh, it's really cute. Again, thank you for supporting my business. Oh, it's the Unfolding Path Tarot un or uh, sealed. Um, I was too late to get it. Not that I was too late. I was on the fence about it. Um, I wanted it, then I didn't want it, and then once I, it was not no longer available, I wanted it. So he must have paid a good penny for this. Oh my goodness. How sweet. And I know that there's a, there's a mass market edition coming out. And I, uh, I want to say it's it's coming up soon, but I still wanted the indie. I a lot of the reason why I didn't want this deck was because of the cardstock that I had seen. I had seen from videos that the cardstock was really matte, and I was kind of afraid of that because I don't love matte tarot. So here is. <coughs> Excuse me. You don't get a uh, guidebook with this deck. You get this uh, fold out. 
and it's got like the keywords and, and such on the cards. And then on this side you get your major arcana, which is um, which is fine. Different. So there's that. Okay, and the cards. Oops, I just ripped that. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> so yeah, they are very thin like I had expected. Um, I am not going to complain. I'm happy to have the deck. Uh, let's go ahead and bring the camera down and take a look at this extremely beautiful beautiful deck I will still be getting the mass market because I want to see the comparisons I uh, I believe that the mass market will be glossy I'm just thinking I, I don't know but anyway here is the fool the magician and yes, the cardstock is uh, very flimsy. Um, very, I would say, in my experience, very easy to damage. And that is the reason I didn't get the deck. I could see from other uh, walkthroughs and stuff like, yeah, that cardstock is very poor. But, um,. And I don't understand why they would use such cardstock on such a beautiful deck. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm already loving it. Um, it's, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. I mean, it's gorgeous on the videos too. But having it in hand. And it'll always be nice to have the indie version plus the mass market when that one comes out there's a lot of diversity in here um ethnic diversity body diversity uh it's it's perfect the chariot very much reminds me more of strength card but that's okay. There's the beautiful strength card. The hermit is beautiful. I love how she's wise beyond her years. The wheel of fortune. Very pretty watery color like type um, here are the backs I didn't show the backs they are beautiful lady justice hanged I guess my biggest thing with this deck it was that I knew that I wouldn't, or at least I think, I don't think that I would be able to get a jumper out of this deck. And that's how I shuffle. If I can't get jumpers, I, I personally can't get an accurate reading. Look at this death card. Wow. But we'll see how it goes. I've asked some people some other youtubers you know at different times can you get a jumper out of the deck some of have said yes yeah. some have said no um temperance very beautiful the devil i guess we will find out when we shuffle look at how beautiful the tower oh my goodness the star very pretty. The moon, my gosh, that's gorgeous. See, as you can see, they won't even slide. 
they're like stuck. That is what I, that will push me away from a deck. But, like I said, the, they're just so gorgeous, this deck is just so gorgeous. I had to make an exception and hopefully can make it work. <clears throat> the judgment. The world. And then we go into the wands. There's our ace. Very colorful, very vibrant, just very beautiful. They've got a modern take on them. The three. I would love to have seen a ship back there, but that's okay. Four of Wands. Five. See, even here with the victory card, you know, we have someone in a wheelchair, which shows us that even though we have things that can sometimes hold us back or, or things that we don't let us hold us or we, things we don't let hold us back from our victory and our success. Seven of Wands, I love this. She is like totally standing her ground. Eight of Wands. And the Nine. I love it. Ten. Really pulling those bags up that, or that bag up those. Very big bird in there. Page. Night, the salamanders on a shoe, queen, very pretty, the queens in this deck are gorgeous, and the king of wands, and then the cups, boy is that a gorgeous ace of cups, I'm loving the symbol there. Beautiful. Two of Cups. The Three of Cups is just so welcoming and you can just like feel that Three of Cups vibe with those ladies. I love this Four of Cups. It just says everything Four of Cups. Five of Cups as well. Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. I love it. Hmm. Which choice am I going to make? Eight of Cups. I love. Nine of Cups, gorgeous. And you see we have age diversity. Not everyone's young on the cards. Oh, how beautiful is that Ten of Cups. Page of Cups. Now this is one of the cards that kind of threw me because our pages are usually young, but he is just the cutest old little man. The Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. Here we have that um, body diversity, which is, you know, I, most people want diversity in decks these days because most of us read for clients and not everybody wants to see skinny white people on cards. There's the king. 
Okay, into the swords we go. There's the ace. Love it. Beautiful colors. Two. That is one nice three of swords. Meaning very good depiction. Love that very nice. I love this four of swords. It's so pretty. It feels very peaceful and relaxing. Five of Swords. Not so peaceful and relaxing. Six of Swords. Seven. Sneaky, sneaky. Eight. Nine. A lot of people compared this to the to the Light Sears deck, maybe because of the you know the very modern feel. Um, I don't feel any connection with the two, and the Light Sears is like one of my favorite decks. Always has it on. Here's the page. The night. The queen, very pretty. Her throne. And our king. And into the pentacles. Oh my gosh, it's a beautiful ace of pentacles. Two. Three, definitely teamwork and working together here. Four, yeah, definitely holding on to something there. Five, very down on his luck. Things just aren't going great there. Oh, how pretty. Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> Oh, I love it. The Seven of Pentacles. The Eight. I love how the hair is coming from her ponytail, wrapping around the pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. Here we see a male. Usually it's it's always a female. And the Ten of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. The Knight. The queen, probably the most pretty, prettiest queen in this deck, I find, is the queen of pentacles. And our king. So I am going to pause really quick and move this wooden piece because I don't want to scuff the cards all up. As I said, they are pretty thin. Um, and I want to see how they shuffle. I will be right back. Okay, so we're back. That was the review. Now I'm very curious to see the shuffle. Yeah, very matte and clumpy. They do shuffle nicely, the ripple shuffle here. One wrong move though, you're bending a card. And this is an indie deck that's no longer in print. Uh, 
the overhand shuffle. And the ultimate. Yeah, you won't be getting a jumper out of here. And if you do, it's going to be in a clump like that. So that was why I never purchased the deck. But I do have my ways that I can... I prefer jumpers, but um, when I'm not able to get jumpers, I divide the deck. And we get the king. I'd say we'd look at the guidebook like we usually do, but there isn't one for this deck. So um, it is very beautiful. It is very, very beautiful, um, and I will enjoy working with it, and I'm excited to see how the uh, mass market uh, deck cardstock is as well. I'm hoping it will be glossy and that we can get some jumpers out of it, so I will probably use this in if that is the case. Um, I would use this deck personally uh, very lightly um, because if the mass market is more to my liking card stock wise or yeah um, I would I would pass the indie on but but we will see um, we will see. I just may find and fall in love with this one. I, it's it's very, very beautiful, and I could very easily connect to this. It's just the cardstock. Again, I don't understand why they would make a deck <clears throat> that is so stunning out of such poor cardstock, because that you could bend one of these, like... Oh, so, so easy, and you ain't, you ain't fixing that. But I would say it's a deck that has to be used gently. Um, and I'm, I'm a shuffler. Gosh, she's beautiful. I love to shuffle, 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 shuffle. Now, if I were to lick my finger and then sh uh, try to get a jumper that way, I definitely could. But I don't want to. Get, I don't want soggy cards. You know what I mean? I have another deck. The card sucks just the same, except it's a little thicker, and that's how I get jumpers out of that deck. But let's see. Oops. Yeah, nope, you're just getting, just getting the, uh, clumps of cards. I'm not complaining, I'm just giving my honest opinion. See, we have some fallout and even then we get two. Um, I'm not complaining, just giving my honest opinion. I really feel like this company should have put in the extra effort to making the card stock just as... Um, just as beautiful as the, the cards. Thank you all for joining me for another unboxing. Take care and be blessed.